Friday afternoon. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. We're going to talk about Lisa Ray and her pointing the finger at everybody but herself. But shout out to everyone that's here early. Also, salute to the moderators and the members. Um, who support this channel, the patrons, everybody that supports the content that I do. All right. Um, make sure that if there's a topic, again, that y'all want to see me do, go to the email. Make sure I put the email in the description so y'all know what it is. And send me content to do uh, live streams or videos on. Y'all know the routine. All right. Also, you can check out the other videos or streams I've done in the last day or so. I think I've done some pretty good live streams, you know. But let's see who's here. Uh, William, Grayson, Chanel, Naima was good. Uh, True, Brittany, B, Fat Baby was good. Jay Wolf, Mr. Demigod, Eric, Aquavius, True, Gerard, Suleiman, Gerald, Josh, Cardell, uh, Amani, Adam, Nick, Jessica Lee, Patrick, Mellow Bird, Darlene, see, Trucker, Joshua, Keith, Michael, Nubian Life, um, Shantia, Black Rain, uh, okay. Elbert, Raining Woman, Chantel, see, 757. Um, Kazama. Uh, okay. Let's see. Yeah. Dark Media, right? RCH. You know, I listen I listened to, to Kanye's album before I went live, like not right before I went live, but a good thirty minutes before I went live. That is that is probably the best album Kanye's done in a while. Just it just flowed. Like I didn't have to skip through any songs. I listened to every song from beginning to the end to to start to finish. The album it seemed like it went by quick. But that's just how well the songs were put together. Maybe that's why he took so long to bring it out, you know. But Kanye is kind of like me. We like to be creative with our topics. Not all the topics, but well, I can relate it to content. You know, um you want what you're doing to mean something. You know, you don't want to just do random things. You want you want it to mean something, to have meaning behind it. People don't like the fact that he's you know, putting together basically a gospel rap album. But I mean, there's been tons of gospel rappers out here, gospel singers making music, trying to integrate, it, to, to mix the uh, rap trap music with uh, gospel music. I mean, nobody had an issue with it, but you know. But uh, yeah, I like the album. Yeah, I I think since. Uh, I like this one more than the previous year. Than the previous year. I'm talking about musically. Musically, it flowed. Musically, it flowed. Um, it flowed better than some of his... Like, his. I would say this... But this is better than definitely the one he did last year. Okay? I think musically, it just it flowed better. My favorite is My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy... I went and actually bought that from the store and listened to it all every day, all the time. You know, <laughs> that's probably my favorite. You know what I'm saying? But I, 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 I like music. I'm not one of those people that super judge people for whatever their lifestyle is or their political beliefs. That has nothing to do with me. You know. Um, but I'm just saying, like, listen to it. Or anyone say out of the loop. 
Well, I mean, this album is supposed to have been coming out for a couple of months now, and they've been teasing it and teasing it, you know. So I would, you know, because I guess because I'm on, you know, I get, you know, I'm on Twitter here and there, so I'll see um, things said about Kanye, or I'll read, go to uh, websites while I'm doing some some research, and I'll see articles written about him. I'll check them out, you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> What's good, Wayne? But we're gonna get into Lisa Ray. We're gonna get into Lisa Ray. Um, apparently it's everybody else's fault why her marriage didn't work. She blamed Nicole Murphy. Now it's Dwayne Martin. But this is something that's new because no one really has heard her speak of this. But all it takes is her doing an interview, I guess. Now, I, I, from what I understand, Lisa Ray is leading or part partial leader of a country, right? In Africa, if I'm not mistaken. But she took the time to sit down and do this interview. Let's go, Vicos. She took the time to sit down and do this interview. Basically... Explaining why marriage didn't work. As if that's what we want to hear. We want to hear why the marriage didn't last. But I think people would really want to hear um, accountability. You know, because we as men, we constantly have to be accountable for the for, for why relationships don't work. Constantly. And it just seems like women get a pass when it comes to accountability why relationships don't work. There are women who literally don't like to have relations with their own boyfriends or husbands, and then they wonder why those the dudes are cheating. They will withhold sex from these guys and then get upset when they're messing around with other women. She's a spiritualist in Africa. Well, she's playing it up. And some and some of these blogs are playing it up too. Like she's queen of of a country. <laughs> but we as men, we're constantly always, it's always our fault. We are cheating. We're cheating. We're messing around. And but you never you never hear women have to be held accountable for why the relationships flop. It's always uh, it's always up to us as men to take the blame. No, you need to take some of that blame too. Because they got women, man, they will turn into complete biatches in the marriage or the relationship and make it completely unbearable for that guy to function in that relationship. And if we already got to deal with stress at work, we don't want to deal with stress at home. So if we can find somebody who can help us with our stress, we're going to go to that because we definitely ain't finding, you know, happiness with you. And I, I know people are going to say, well, you know, these men lead these women on. These men be trying to, so not, not all the time, not all the time, not all the time. But in some cases, there are men who do try to leave these relationships. And these women will not let that happen, especially if he gets with another woman. She's going to fight that other woman. She's going to keep the guy from seeing his kids. She's going to play all these games. Because she's hurt because he left. It's hard. See, men. See, when men stay with women longer than they should, it's because he don't want that woman to react in a negative manner. Because she is. He knows she is, especially if they got a kid together. She's going to do everything she can to make his life miserable. He knows this. So he has to stay in a relationship he really don't want to be in. Because he knows exactly what she's going to do. She's going to tear up his property. She's going to be spreading lies about him. She's going to keep him seeing the kid. Immediately try to put him on child support. Just try to, out of complete emotion, because the guy don't want to be with her. You you can't reject a woman. Like, you can't just leave her. Because she's going to find some way to, to mess up your life. And a lot of guys in these situations, man, they will stay with women because they know that the alternative is being with a woman who's going to do nothing but damage to them. Who's going to try to ruin their new relationships. Make sure y'all like the stream, man. 
So that is also why, guys, it, it ain't listen, when it comes to marriage, it ain't just about spousal support when it comes to marriage, why men aren't getting married. It's because men don't want to be tied to a woman who could potentially be crazy, potentially be clingy, potentially be withholding sex and, and trying to control the layers of that relationship. You know? And society has made it okay for women to do this. They've made it okay for women to act out in emotional manner, destroying property, fighting the guy. That's okay because she's mad, she's hurt. I've literally seen grown men or group women acting like complete, you know, uh, kids throwing tantrums whenever they don't get something that they want. So you got dudes, man, they will stay in these bad relationships. And yes, they will cheat because they feel like they're not getting no love from this woman. She's withholding from him. So he going to get it elsewhere. This is the reality of what's going on. Women don't want to don't want to hear that. But those are facts. They're not messing around just because they like to do it. It's because obviously they're not getting something from you. And honestly, obviously, Lisa Ray wasn't handling business. And that's why, the, the, you know, this guy or, you know, guys in her past mess around on her. But we're going to listen to this clip that I was sent. I just find it hilarious. It, 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 it's everybody else's fault. <laughs> One, it was Nicole Murphy fault. It was Roxy from uh, 106 in Park. But now it's Dwayne Martin because uh, Dwayne Martin got in his head and Dwayne Martin was able to convince him he could do this and that. Come on, man. Let me see if I can get to. Uh, Try to play too much of it. What's good, Ill Will? Union in which it was going to be what we wanted it to be because he did say, I want to date you within our marriage. To me, he was absolutely right because I'm not so sure I would have stayed if we didn't do it that way. So when we got married, I had one more season of all of us. I was going back and forth every weekend and it was killing me. Like anybody, when you start a new business or a new adventure, you your, your focus is there. So, you know, your other things kind of take a, a little bit of a back burner to things. And I had to commit to be this newfound first lady and this new wife. So I left my career and I was a full-time wife and first lady in Turks and Caicos Islands, which is really huge for a city girl because here I am on this island. Yes, it's beautiful, but I have no friends. I have no family. I have no career. <sighs> Lisa Ray. That is the life you signed up for. I'm sorry, Lisa. Well, I'm not sorry. You signed up for a, a, a life of being a wife. You knew what this guy occupation was, and you got with them anyway. So we can't talk about how you didn't have this or that. You chose that. This are, these are decisions that you made. No point in the finger. They're acting like she just had to uproot her whole existence. No, you was dating this guy and you chose to, you chose to make the move. You could have chose your career. You could have chose to stay in the States. But you wanted that lifestyle. You wanted that title. She has a great heart, and she wanted to go to Turks and Caicos to help the people. She wanted to be that first lady, and um, I think the people got it twisted. Uh, you know, I think they looked at her and was like, oh, there's that American girl, you know, the actress. And she had to fight a lot um, just to prove herself, and I don't know if it ever worked. And I don't think it's working now. Um, she, yes, she is known for being a scripper in a movie. I think that's that's that follows her. That's why she she tends to hold herself up as this this high class woman who only dates high class men because of her past and what she was connected to, you know. But again, these are the choices you have to look at down the road, you know my reign and being a first lady became busier and busier and I found my position 
then he was doing a lot more traveling by himself and I was staying home speaking at a school or, or having an engagement or an appearance or something. And <laughs> to really to be quite honest, then he became friends with Dwayne Martin, which there used to be go. one of my friends on all of us. And when I introduced them, that was one of the worst things I ever did. Yeah. Dwayne Martin for Lisa. Oh, uh, here we go, man. Uh, come on, man. What What is it with this? So, okay, you are, this is your co-worker. You introduce him to your husband and now it's downhill because of the friend. Like, it, he, he, this guy doesn't have other friends. Dwayne, and by, by the way, Dwayne Martin was married at the time. Okay. You don't think that he had his whole family situation going. It wasn't like Dwayne Martin was a single guy. You know, shout out to you know it. Keep pushing the truth, brother. Thanks, man. Ray was a nemesis that was unbelievable. And he was someone that she trusted. Someone that she felt was her friend. Someone she had bonded with. And none of that was true. Somehow within that relationship, I lost my husband to Dwayne Martin, and they became better friends than what me and my husband did. And I couldn't understand that for the love of God. Yo, they have they have a they had a picture of her her ex and Dwayne standing with a white girl in the middle of the picture. <laughs> and this is this is courtesy of TV One. This is a courtesy of TV One. You know, what's good to good nurse. So she basically saying that her husband, you know, was basically cared more about Dwayne than her. That's an indictment on you. That's an indictment on you, Lisa Ray. That lets me know that, you know, you're very cold. Okay. And maybe he saw through you. Maybe he said to himself, you're just like all the other women I date. You know, you're just like all the other women. It didn't matter, you know, that you, you carry yourself a certain way. You're still like all the other women I come across. And because of that, maybe that's what pushed them away. It wasn't, it, excuse me, oh my goodness. Y'all listen to the rest of this. We don't know who ain't going to be right in our life until they ain't right. You gotta open your heart and trust people. And Lisa Ray trusted Dwayne. This was her brother, her best friend. But he went dirty on her. He did. He became disrespectful with introducing my husband to different women and women that we actually knew as friends and associates. In Turks and Caicos, she opened up her home to him and he brought other women to her husband. Not a very <clears throat> spiritual or positive human being. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know my dirt as my brother, as my friend, but you my friend. I introduced you to him. What are you doing? I'm still kind of confused about that one. So needless to say, me and Dwayne don't with each other at all. him. Oh, man. Oh, see, see, why you got to get vulgar? You're supposed to be a classy lady and you're getting vulgar like this? Come on, man. A dude, listen. A man who was in his position is not going to change up overnight. That's who he was. And you had to have known that in the back of your mind. If you didn't, you're very naive. You're very naive. And then you introduced them. So obviously you felt good enough about Dwayne to introduce them. Because maybe the guy before then didn't know a lot of celebrities like that, especially in America, and didn't really have any close ties and connections. Lisa Ray was the link. And maybe he got around those guys and things changed. But again, a guy who's going to be who he is. You know, I've been around a lot of crazy individuals. I don't think they altered who I was. I don't think they changed me because they introduced me to women. All your ex had to say was, I'm not interested. You know, I don't want to see these. Stop introducing me to these women. So because he didn't have enough discipline and willpower, 
you want to blame Dwayne. Dude was probably messing around with people close to her. It wasn't uh, women Dwayne was introducing her to. It was probably women who were close to her. Her best friends probably was messing with them. Close people who worked with her or worked for her. But once again, in this situation with Lisa Ray, I, I see it as a way for her to explain the failures as far as relationships is concerned. Dwayne is an easy target because her and I believe Tisha Campbell are still cool with each other. As a matter of fact, Tisha Campbell is co-signing uh, that Dwayne is quote unquote a bad guy, but they're going through a messy breakup. And by the way, Dwayne Martin had Tisha Campbell, his wife's back during the whole debacle with her and Martin in the nineties. But now her and Martin are cool. I think that played a part in the why Dwayne wants nothing to do with her anymore. You know, But I think Lisa is looking in one direction, but I think she needs to look in some of these other directions. Because if she actually look around her, there were probably a lot of different people around this guy, a lot of different people influencing this guy. But at the end of the day, he makes those choices. He makes those choices. Why are you trying to sit up there and blame somebody outside the home for why the relationship didn't work? And it wasn't just Dwayne, okay? She blamed Nicole Murphy as well. It was Nicole Murphy's fault too. Oh, yes, it was Nicole Murphy's fault too. Nicole Murphy had a, a play in that. Probably so. You know, Nicole is, you know, is now known as a, you know, a, a home wrecker or tries to home, wreck homes and then she fails at it. You know, another female who wants to chase other women's men instead of getting her own, you know. It was it was her fault. Nicole Murphy's fault. Now she's talking about F you Dwayne Martin. Would she be saying that if him and Tisha wasn't going through this breakup? Because to me, it just seems that because Dwayne Martin and Tisha Cam was going through this breakup. Now, all of a sudden, she wants to go in on him. What's good, Miranda? I think that accountability needs to be had in these situations. You say you knew what dirt. I'm pretty sure she had dirt. I think Lisa Ray, I think he does know Lisa Ray uh dirt. You know what I'm saying? And because he knows Lisa Ray's dirt, maybe she don't think he's gonna say nothing. But but Lisa. The one thing you can't count, you, you shouldn't count on is these, these brothers staying quiet. You know, I think a lot of, a lot of us as men, especially a lot of us as black men, we have a tendency to not say nothing, especially in the public eye. We tend to not say nothing about putting these people on, on, on blast. Well, that is slowly changing. So, so to Lisa and others who think that, these guys won't put them on blast. You obviously don't understand the human mind. When people feel they've been wrong and they truly feel like the victim and they're, they're put into a corner, they're going to lash out eventually. Dwayne is going through a messy divorce. Do you think that he's going to allow you to put his name out there and, you know, slander him basically? She the, see, she the type of female to go fight the other woman instead of dealing with the guy who actually messed around. She probably has a better relationship with her ex than the people that his ex was messing with. Some of those women may have known they were together. Some of those women probably didn't. But she's the type to go and want to handle the other female instead of handling the dude. You want to blame another guy who was just hanging around him, you know? This guy, I mean, he, he's he's running the country, right? So, obviously, he's an intelligent guy. Are you, do, are you telling me that he's not intelligent? Are you telling me that he's that naive? 
then somebody that um, inept should not be running a country. Somebody that weak minded should not be running a country. I'm sorry. If you think that low of him to he can be easily manipulated, then he should not be running no country. He should not be nowhere near being able to make decisions for other people if he can't make decisions for himself. That's pretty much what she's saying. That the guy can't make no decisions on his own. That he needs other people to influence his thought process. Shout out to Shy. Wasn't Dwayne and Will Smith having an affair? I don't know, bro. That's speculation. I don't speak on speculation. All I know is they're good friends. So I can't speak on hearsay. You know, I'm, you know, listen, a lot of different people, a lot of well-known people watching my content. But anyway, <laughs> you know, I got to be very factual. So I, I can't, I can't speak on hearsay. But what I can say is this. Your ex was running, I believe the government of Turks and Caicos, right? And you're telling me that that guy was so weak-minded, so naive, that he allowed a guy he barely knew, didn't really even know that much or that you know for that long, influence him when it comes to women. This is a grown man. He was able to wife you, Lisa. And I know you hold yourself in high regard. So he was able to get you, but he's not able to control himself when it comes to women and influence. That's that's very interesting. But he was able to get you, Lisa. He was able to get you to put your career on hold to move to a different country. So you're telling me that a guy who's not very intelligent was able to get to 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 get uh, to be able to wife you and get you to uproot yourself and move to a different country or island or whatever. And this is a guy who's making decisions for other people. If I was the people of Turks and Caicos, I would not want that person uh, making any decisions for me. You know? But again, this is Lisa Ray speaking. And I think that this doesn't necessarily just have a lot to do with Dwayne. I think it has a lot to do with women in general who blame other people for why the relationship failed. They want to go and get into it with other women instead of dealing with the guy that they are with. I see that a lot, you know, and it's because they are in denial. I think she for a long time was in denial, but I think that she's starting to see a clearer picture and she's starting to see that, you know what, maybe I should hold this guy accountable. But still, you're going at the friend first before you go and try to hold them accountable. I know that Lisa Ray has gotten around. I'm pretty sure she's, she's been in these circles with all these different prominent men. I'm pretty sure she has. I'm pretty sure she has a lot of dirt, but she's confident nobody's going to say anything about her. She's going off perception. Okay. A man with power is going to utilize that power to do what he want to do. You can't control that no matter how much you think you can, but obviously you couldn't. You couldn't get this guy to be on the straight and narrow when it comes to infidelity. You know, he did what he wanted to do. I just hope people understand this because she also has had issues with Stacey Dashford. That's a whole nother situation. I just think Lisa Ray is a lost person. I think that she still has issues that she's dealing with. She wants to come off as being smart and being able to make moves as a woman, but she comes off as being very bitter and very catty and very emotional because she just doesn't understand that in, in today's society, um, you can't just be pointing a finger without people pointing fingers back at you. She's just lucky enough to be dealing with people who aren't very public. 
Shout out to Shy again. Uh, Lisa Ray has hit the wall. D. Brat better looking. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. The Brat does. I believe if you compare the two, the Brat does look better than her even now. The Brat to me has always been a, a, a cute, attractive female to me. She just a tomboy, not a tomboy. Well, she's basically, you know, <laughs> she likes to dress like dudes. So she likes females, I guess. And never really seen her with none. But honestly, I think. To be honest, and that's just a side note, I think that that's just for her, you know, her uh, career. I don't think she's necessarily just in the women, but that's just me. I don't think so. <laughs> you know, I just think Lisa just, she comes across to me as somebody who thinks that she's more intelligent than everybody she's around. But in this situation, she got played and she's hurt. And she's lashing out at anybody that she feels has wronged her, you know. But what she needs to understand is this dude had power. This dude had means that attracts women to him. Women are going to be just like you, Lisa. Women are going to be attracted to who he is and what he has. I just think that she doesn't understand what well, maybe she understands it now, maybe. You know, I just think when it comes to a lot of women pointing the finger, you got to understand that you're going to have fingers pointing back at you because obviously you're doing something wrong for men to be so quick to want to mess around on you. Now, this is one situation. I don't know about her other relationships, but what I know is, is in this one, she really wanted to work. But she was with a guy that I think, after wifing her up, realized he made a mistake. I think the guy realized he made a mistake. And he got out of it probably as quick as he could. Um, and you haven't really heard from anything from him since. Because I think he's a happier person because he realized that Lisa Ray is pretty much like all the other women he's dealt with. He probably thought she would be different. But I, nah, she's not different, bro. Not different in the least. See, she wants to portray herself as being different, but there's nothing different about her because she still does not understand logic. And the logic is that you can't go can't go blaming everybody else for why you can't seem to turn the guy that you are with on to the point to where he doesn't have to mess around all these different women that were presented to him by his quote unquote male friend who you introduced him to. Lisa so obviously you knew about Dwayne you knew about you know who he was his personality and you still introduced him to your husband no accountability whatsoever there's no accountability yeah Angela Bassett has aged better than Lisa Ray Lisa Ray Lisa Ray looked like the, the MILF Married MILF with like adult children. Did y'all see her? Like, yeah, she looks good for her age. <laughs> you know? But yeah, the brat does look better than her, man. I just think the brat is too much of a tomboy. But if she just come out of that tomboy phase, ain't no telling. <laughs> she been peeking out the tomboy thing a few times a few times but she hasn't fully gotten out of it but i'm telling you right now if the brat was to go full feminine i'm telling you she she'd probably gain a whole bunch of followers a bunch of thirsty i mean they probably probably got some thirsty dudes on that probably gain some thirsty dudes and i'm telling you man it, all she would have to do is turn it up a notch i'm telling you well i'm so nasty what you're gonna talk about or really, Miranda? Okay, I may, you know, I may do a live on that too. But yeah, man, I want to see the brat completely turned it up, turn it up, man. Tay messed up, Lisa Ray in Players Club, and not. Nah. Yeah, man, this a she a whole life. She trying to transform her whole life from what she did before, you know. I'm not well. When I said phase, I was obviously joking. 
You know, I'm just saying, like, if she just wanted to go for a family, I just would like to see her do it at least one time. Might change her life. <laughs> you know, they was trying to say, um, they was trying to say Ricky Smiley, her co the guy who, who show she's on, that he was like trying to date her or whatnot. She would she didn't really deny it, but she didn't really say what was yay or nay, you know. I think the brat just need a a really cool, cold motherfucker to just reach her out them baggy clothes and get her out here looking <laughs> good. Have a, you know what I'm saying, have a feeling good about herself. Y'all know most of them, most of the, most of the dykes, a lot of them chicks just never felt liked by boys, so they just dated girls. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, I was around this girl who was dressed like the brat. The brat, I could feel. That I had a chance to smash. You know how you're around the girl and you know you got a chance to smash. I knew I could smash her. And she wasn't ugly either. You know, she looked about the same size as uh, the brat. Brown skin, the chick. Cute in the face, you know. Yeah, like the video, man. One time the brat Yeah we just need to see it one time We need to see the brat, brat one time Come out her shell man <laughs> You know Tell me man Like the stream people Like the stream Yeah, man, you got these humble studs, man. They're around you, man. They get feminine as hell. They ain't with that yo yo, what up, bro? Bullshit, man. Yeah, it was it was some sexual tension. Was also some, you know, um, submissive energy that women give you when they're around you. You know, they'll give you that submissive energy. Let's see. Yeah, let's get the likes up, people. Shout out to everybody that's here with me on this afternoon. But yeah, man, I, I think that um, I think women like Lisa Ray will never be able to find love like they want to because they refuse to understand what could make that relationship fall apart. And what can make that relationship fall apart is not having accountability and not really understanding that you need to be a certain way with them. Um, you have to be a woman. You can't be no alpha female with no guy that has power and, and resources and a guy who could have other women that he wants. And I think she went into that relationship with the wrong mindset. You know, because she does come off as one of those females that likes to be in control, that doesn't know her place in relationships. Maybe she does now, but in that one, I don't think so. And I think to turn that guy off to where he he's going out, probably asking Dwayne, you know, to show him some women. You know, let's let's go let's go to Hollywood, let's go to L.A., man, let's go <laughs> let's go to uh, Miami, let's do it. You know, like this dude, I mean, come on, man. He could have gotten, he could have gotten anybody to show him where the women at. You trying to tell me that Dwayne Martin was the one, was the, was the one showing her, uh, showing her, showing him where the women at. He could have got any dude to show him where the women at. Why does he need Dwayne to do that? And you trusted him. 
So you mean to tell me that a guy that you trusted was trying to get your husband to cheat? That 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 I mean that you know what that does though? That lets me know that Dwayne may have been trying to sabotage that relationship. Why would he want to sabotage that relationship? Did y'all have something going on? Because that's the only thing I can surmise from this guy wanting to sabotage a relationship. You know? Did he have feelings? You do have dudes now that will try to sabotage relationships. Go back, run back and tell your, your girlfriend or wife what you're doing, reporting on you. And, you know, you got dudes that, that do that. I mean, he could have. Maybe that's why she's upset because she knew what he was doing. She knew he may have been trying to sabotage that that marriage. And that's why maybe that's that could be another reason uh, why she's upset and angry, you know, outside of her not wanting to be accountable for why that relationship failed. Um, it's all about she knowing what Dwayne was doing. But that's why you got to. You, you definitely have to understand the type of people that you're bringing around other people. I'm not going to introduce no I'm not going to introduce Somebody that I, I don't truly fully know to somebody else, you know. Was he trying to sabotage the relationship, Lisa Ray? Yeah, he is. He's going through a very bitter divorce right now. And they're just slinging insults. I think. When Tisha Campbell was photographed or a video, uh, they did like a video interview. It was her and Martin and Tashina Arnold. I think that is what broke the camel's back because they weren't really divorced yet. And he was like, oh, really? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Women are very good cheaters, man. Women will cheat and be like, prove it. Because they know you ain't going to be able to prove it. <laughs> you know, women will cheat on you and then tell you to prove it. That's how slick these chicks can be, man. They could have cheated an hour ago before they talked to you. And then they'll tell you to go prove it. Or you crazy. <laughs> you paranoid. <laughs> you know. Probably change the lock on their phone just in case. You ain't going to catch most of these women cheating. Good luck with that. Shout out to Darren Nelson. People who rat on their friends to their partners usually want a chance with the partner. Yeah, they do. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's why you got to be very careful of bringing your friends around, whoever you're dating, or telling them your business. Do not tell them your business. Okay. Because you're giving them insight that they can use against you. Yeah, they do. Women do get caught. Women, don't, women only get caught cheating. It, yeah, if they if they ready to leave that relationship or they trying to hurt you, then they going to they gonna basically get themselves caught up. They'll be openly flirting. You know, they'll leave their phone open. <laughs> or they'll be texting in front of you. Or they'll be talking to dudes openly in public, hugging them. They want you to catch them, man. But more than likely, man, y'all not going to catch these women cheating, man. These women make it an art of not getting caught, okay? <laughs> it's a lifestyle. <laughs> it's a lifestyle going out here cheating and not getting caught, man. Y'all not going to catch these women. Good luck. Good luck trying to catch them because you're not going to catch them. You are not going to catch it, but good luck, man. Even when you think you got proof, they will put that doubt into your mind to make you go and rethink what are you talking about. <laughs> they'll put, that doubt, they'll put that, that doubt in your mind to where you don't know. You're just confused. You're like, man, I'm confused. I don't know what's going on here. That's how women are, man. When Women, women got a good poker face, man. You know, that's why these women be in these marriages and relationships for years 
and they will be dealing with the guy that is constantly messing around with other women and they will stay with him. You know why? Because, you know, every once in a while they step out. They step out. But they're not going to be messy, man. They're not going to be sloppy with it. You know, they're not going to be during the holiday season. You got a side chick that want to see you. You got to sneak out the house to go see her, you know, or do something for the side chick birthday. Maybe, maybe not. You know, just getting yourself all caught up. You know, women can do this. They can mess around, not be no feelings involved. Um, but, yeah, man, they, they, they will be in these marriages and relationships for years. You know, just like uh, DJ Envy, right? I heard DJ Envy and his wife's podcast the other day, right? And she was talking about how she really wanted to hurt him. And how she could hurt him because he was messing around. And you can just tell this, this is how she was saying it. I believe she done fucked around with a dude before. I, I can just feel it in my, in my, in my spirit. I know that she done fucked around on DJ Envy, but because he's on a, he was on a goddamn apology tour. He don't see that. See, once you cheat and she find out, man, she's going to pick her spots and she's going to mess around here and there, but it ain't going to be frequently because it ain't about sex to her. It's just about her getting some, some physical validation, um, her feeling good, her giving herself to another man. And the thought of her giving herself to another man behind your back is pretty much all she would need and all she would want. And some of these guys don't understand that. They think, oh, I'm knocking the lining out of her box. And, it, I'm, you know, I'm I'm this alpha male. She love me. I, I take care of her. Bro, she don't give. Bro, once you cheat, she don't give a fuck about that. Shout out to Darren. Again, only time a woman gets caught is if the dude comes forward. The husband stalks her on some private investigator stuff or the husband gets lucky. Pretty much. I think getting lucky is probably the least but yeah, man, you basically would have to stalk her. Uh, you would have to follow, maybe follow her sometimes. I don't condone you doing that. I think if you feel that she's cheating, I think you need to confront her or just leave. Private guest investigator, that may work, you know. You could be working hard every day to take care of your wife. But if she found out you was cheating, she one of those day, one of those days she's gonna go fuck around with one of your coworkers, one of your homies, probably your brother. And guess what? What's really gonna be cold? They're not even gonna say nothing. That's what's gonna be cold. They're not even gonna say nothing. They're not gonna say nothing. That's how it can be, man. See, women are thinkers, and that's why they're able to, to, to run circles around some of these guys because they are thinkers. I mean, they, they, I mean, they're not the most logical at times, but when it comes to doing something like cheating, yes, that's thinking, you know, very much so. When they at work, they thinking about it. They putting plans together, okay? But yeah, DJ Envy, your wife done, she done, she done hopped on somebody else's sack, bro. Because she, she talking about really wanting to hurt him. I'm like, the way she was saying it was like, man, she done, <laughs> DJ Envy, man, she either planning to do something or she going to do something. I remember one time they said that she wanted, DJ Envy said that his wife Wanted to bring Tyrese in. You know, y'all know the actor, singer Tyrese Gibson. Wanted to bring him into the marriage to counsel them. I'm saying, bro, he, he going to be doing some counseling, all right? <laughs> you know?
The guy she always wanted, she letting him hit, you know. Yeah, it'll be that guy she keeps around, you know, the low-key guy. Might be a co-worker, could be a supervisor, you know. And DJ Envy is still apologizing, people. DJ Envy is still apologizing for technically maybe, maybe not messing around on her, on his wife with Erica Mena. Bro, where they make y'all at? Shout out to Darren again. She smashed Tyrese. He talked to her alone. Yeah, he counseled her in private. <clears throat> yeah, definitely a counseling session. All right. You dudes got to get your head out the sand. Just because you think that you're, you know, you you, you, you smashing her good. Just because you think that you're financially taking care of her. That don't mean that she's going to not look to mess around. And again, it ain't even just about sleeping around. It's just about them getting, you know, some just feeling good in that particular moment. Them knowing that they can do that and you never know about it. That is what keeps them in those relationships and keeps them in those marriages that they were able to do that. Yeah, but the podcast I recently heard, which was about a week ago, this this guy is still in apology mode about what he did. And it, it makes you it makes you appreciate, especially me, that I've been able to to really truly red pill my my thought process and learn from mistakes I've made and what others have done and said that I don't put myself in a position to be apologizing to no woman who clearly is only with me because of who I am and what I have. And if she can upgrade from me, she would. Women respect men more who they gain mentally. They gain something from. Um, it ain't just the physical, it's the mental. You have to mentally be able to get into the minds of women. Because once you're mentally able to grab a hold of them, that bond is stronger than anything. But if you're coming to them seeking to uh, support their lifestyle, or you think that because you're physically appealing to them, that's the only thing that you're going to need to keep those women with you. I'm sorry to tell you that that's not going to work. You're going to end up hurt in the long run. And to get back to Lisa Ray, I think Lisa thought because she she thought at the time that because she looked good to him and she thought that was the number one thing appealing uh, him to her. She also probably thought her intellect was, but clearly that wasn't. Um, she thought that that would keep him. Um, but when he wifed her up, he realized, man, she switched up. I think she switched up on him, and that's why he went messing around with those women, you know. Who was the biggest cheater? Man, I think it's equal as far as men and women cheat. I think it's damn near equal. <laughs> I've even seen numbers that say that it's, it's, it's almost equal. Well, who's, who's cheating more with women and men? It's almost equal, man. I think that she was one way before she before they they got married, and once they once she got that ring and got that title, I think she switched up on him, and that's when he said, "F this, I I want out, or I want to just you know do me, so to speak." She was mad at what DC. Yeah, she was. Um, Envy, my uh, wife, was mad at what they said. That's why Envy went in, in Superman uh, mode with the cape on when he could have spoke to them dudes behind the scenes. But see, that just shows you that Envy's wife doesn't care about him. Because if Envy would have told his wife that he was going to confront him, a, a real woman, a real good woman would have told him, don't do that. Don't go on your job and act out. You can ask them questions because I think they apologize. But because DJ Envy's wife doesn't give a fuck about him, except for what he can do for her, he went on that show and made a complete fool of himself. He looked like a complete clown. 
And because he acted like a complete clown, I think his wife respects him even less. Shout out to Darren. It's equal. Women just lie about being faithful. A woman told me this. That's true, bro. I believe that. Women, other women told me that too. There are a lot of women out here messing around, especially with social media. Social media has changed the game, man. Social media has made it easy for women to mess around. They've made it easier. You know? Women are, especially if she's an attractive woman on Instagram. Oh, my God. Imagine her DMs. Imagine who's in her DMs. Probably dudes that you know or, you know, in, in her DMs. Uh, but, yeah, man, it's very easy for women to, to cheat these days. You got dating apps. I mean, hell, you got YouTube. <laughs> you got YouTube. <laughs> so it's easy for people to connect with each other, man. And get conversations growing, man. I'm telling you, man, more connections are being made on this platform every day. <laughs> Not only here, I mean, Facebook for a long time, but now you got Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Twitter used to be, yo, man. <laughs> you meet them on Twitter, then you move to, uh, to you move to the DM. That's a wrap. Oh, yeah, Google Hangouts, too. You know, Google Hangouts, too. People falling asleep on Google Hangouts, man. Doing marathon streams, from what I've heard. Man, those are the days, huh? But thank God for Streamlabs, right? Not Streamlabs, but StreamYards. StreamYards, <laughs> StreamYards is coming to the picture. <laughs> oh, man. Shout out to everybody that's here, man. I met my wife on here. Frantonio, are you serious? You met your wife on here? Let's give it up for, for Frantonio. Frantonio said he met his wife on here. I don't know if he's joking or not, but shout out to Frantonio. He said he met his wife. Connections are being made every day. Connections are being made every day. So yeah, man, it is easier to cheat, man. Especially when you when you get when your wife come into contact with these intellectual motherfuckers on there, it might be a complete rap. You don't even know it. <laughs> might be a complete rap and don't even know it. All right, shout out to Darren again. Google Hangouts was like Ashley Madison. Oh yes, it was. Yes, it was because you got the 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 uh, the chat room, the private chat room, and then you got people. Who talk on those Google Hangouts all night until early in the mornings, and they'll you know wait for a couple of hours, and they get hop hop right back on it, you know. But I mean, that's why I said, thank God for Streamyard, right? <laughs> okay, people, I think that's it for me. Shout out to everybody that was here on this afternoon live stream. Much appreciation to you. Shout out to the Super Chatters. All the people that support the members. Everybody. Uh, I probably won't go live tomorrow. I'm, I could. Maybe if I got a good topic. But again, if y'all got any topics that y'all want to see me speak on live. Or make video content on, man. Just send it to me. All right. Hopefully, I have a good rest of your afternoon and have a good weekend ready. I know a lot of y'all getting off work, probably already off work or getting off work in a few. All right, and y'all and about to make some responsible choices. Hopefully, well, Gerard, if you don't know where Streamyard is, then uh, that might be a good thing. <laughs> Streamyard is a streaming service, man, for YouTube. It's the it's like a a. a a step in for for um, Google Hangouts. All right, so y'all take care, man. Y'all have a good rest of your day and weekend, and we'll get back on this on the next one. All right. Mm -hmm.